Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Railway Empire. This is a game developed by Gaming Mind Studios, published by Calypso. It is set to come out on January 26th, but we got an early look here to try the thing out and see what it's all about. Essentially, this is a railroad tycoon sort of thing. We're going to be running a train empire. It's going to be the, uh, the late 19th century, building trains, hauling coal and, and passengers and mail and uh, conquering the U.S. with all of our rail lines. There's several different ways of playing the game, and uh, it really focuses on that, uh, that tycoon uh, management style to the game. Not the, not the fanciest of graphics, more kind of cartoony, but uh, not, a, not, not a bad time so far. So we got a few different options here. We have campaign mode, which is essentially the tutorial. Just sort of takes you through the, the how to play the game, really, is what this is all about. Uh, we have scenarios here. These will start you off and give you, like, uh, for instance, this is about the uh, black gold. we got to build up a train network in Oklahoma and Texas. And uh, we can see we've got, it's all set. We start in Kansas City, we start with a million bucks, we have two competitors on the map, we can set a couple of different options there. But then you begin, and you have your set goals and everything that you have to meet playing through the, well, like a scenario way. Or we can go through free mode, which is a little bit more, a little bit more tycoon style, where you can come in and you can pick what part of the U.S. you want to be in. Let's say we want to be in uh, the West. While we're in the West, we can select how much money we start with, what city we begin in, uh, and how many people are on the map, how many, uh, how good they are. And uh, there is a pause mode option. Each of these has a pause mode. The game uh, normally, the way it it was originally set up to be was a uh, only when you're building tracks does it pause you can also set up where it never pauses if you are a trainiac or you can go with manual like a normal person and hit space bar whenever you need to hit when you need a time to think uh but that's free mode that's that's a little more tycoon style thing that's probably what we're gonna do today um and we have sandbox mode which is essentially the exact same thing as free mode however you get free money Everything's free, no competitors, it's just build until you can no longer stand looking at trains again. Uh, but that's pretty much the basics. I think we're going to go through with free mode, however, because that's that's the kind of way I like playing these games. This is a ty tycoon-style game, and it's um, we're still going to get some like goals to meet and, and objectives, but a little more freedom, I think, is a little more interesting for me. But uh, we're going to go to... I don't know, we can pick any year here, starting with 18... 30 all the way up to 18 or 1910 in here we can see like we want to go through the the, the flat lands of the south maybe we want to go into the mountainous west it sounds like a little more exciting the west is always more exciting we can go with 1830 let's go with 1870 that was a um interesting time for the west so yeah we'll do that one bordered by the the west by the pacific east by the rocky mountains and the expansion of the railway is compl complicated by the central sierra nevada Cascade Mountains to the northwest, impressive Grand Canyon to the southeast, southern area characterized by numerous desert and steppe areas such as the Death Valley and the Mojave Desert. Yeah, it's always more interesting over there anyway. So let's start it up so we can choose up how much money we're going to be with. We'll start with like 1.2, 1.8 million to give us, to give us a, um, maybe 1.2, that might be a little much. 1.2 to get us a start to the game. We can select what city we want to begin in. The ones that are lit up are the ones it recommends we begin in. These are bigger towns and, and they recommend us begin there. Um, where, where can we go here? LA, there's Milford. What is this? What is this one? That's Salt Lake. Um, I'm going to start in the desert. Uh, you know what? We can go. Let's go with San Francisco. That's always a good one. Uh, three competitors. We'll go with two. And uh, normal is fine. Realistic means that our, our uh, trains are not ethereal. They can actually run into each other and they need uh, they need signals and all that. Pause mode. We're going to go with manual because we are a normal person. Together, Let's begin. Them all. So we have different character selection. This is a, basically our bonuses that we have. For instance, we have a general here who gives us cheaper tracks. Don't We've got the gangster who uh, we get these, the these uh, unique people who come into our empire and try to join us and help us do things like building tracks and and maybe sabotaging our competitors and he will get these folks for us we have this guy gives us higher freight the engineer gives us uh additional innovation research points that allows us to get new trains new cars uh, we have the lady higher ticket prices and the trickster cheaper trains um i think the game is is uh i like focusing on these games 
Right, is he singing? <laughs> I like playing these kind of games focusing on passengers and mail. That's what I enjoy. Um, but this one, you really need to focus on freight. And uh, because you want your towns to be supplied with things, once your towns get bigger, they want corn and they want meat and they want... How dare you Excuse me? Make me wait. They want other things on the map. Um, but uh, we're going to go with this one just because... Yeah, it works for me. My name is not v Beatrix Von Pomp. My name is Nook uh, Von Pomp. And my company is not the Dream Miner. It is the Nook Liner. Okay. Surely you must be aware that I... Okay. So let's begin. Look, there's the mountains we're going into right now. So right in San Fran, we're going to work our way around and hopefully build ourselves some sort of... Your new company. As an empire. Pay attention to your tasks in this region, and don't take your eyes off your two opponents. Thank you, sir. Okay, so here we are in San Francisco. We San Francisco at the moment has a meat industry. This is a private industry. No one owns the thing right now, but it's taking cows and turning them into meat. And uh, this is supplying our demands for meat. We have lots of. This is our kind of our stock in the city. This is our demand that we need. We're eating a little bit of the meat, but we're also producing some of the meat. But we're going to want a lot of cows to deal with that. Plus, the city also wants wood, it wants corn, it wants wheat, it wants beer, and also wants sugar. And these, all these, supplying these needs for the town is going to provide us with a uh, fulfillment of demand. Having that by at least 60% allows the town to grow. The town grows, more people, better. So that is mostly our our main goal here is to to supply the uh, the needs of the, uh, the local towns. So we've got San Francisco, we got Sacramento over this way. Which oh look at that! No, we're both meat um, creators. So look at that. We got some cows here in uh, wood breeding. Farmer Wood is making some cows over here. So we can haul a uh, some cows, I guess, to French San Francisco here. First off, there's some corn down here. Also, we can probably pick up some sugar as well. Um, does sugar grow down there in, in California? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's L.A. also has a meat plant as well. But we just kind of get an idea of the map here and see what's going on here. we got the desert southwest down this way. we got Yuma, San Diego. There's Flagstaff, which is a little more mountainous than that in real life. Um, we've got... That's the Grand Canyon, I'm guessing, right in there. What else is going on over here? We've got Salt Lake over that way. There is the Salt Lake. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. We can turn it all around and get all confused because it's all upside down and now I'm getting dizzy. And up to Portland. Okay, so let's begin. My competitors, I don't know where they are at just yet. They, I guess we'll pop in here in just a minute. Uh, we do get these little videos that pop up. This is sort of the tutorial thing. No matter what game you play, it's going to say, hey, this is how you play the game, whether you like it or not. But we can tell it to go away. So as it was showing us there, however, we're going to want to make a train station. We have different options. We have small medium, large. These are all, not only are they bigger radius of, uh, of grabby area, they also are bigger and how many have more tracks on it. This one, for instance, only has one track. This one has two tracks, and this one has four tracks. San Francisco is going to be like a hub, but that's 200 grand. Um, do we want to do that? We probably do. Just because it's our main our main town. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up something like on the edge of town here. And we can, yes, place it in the middle of town. And I'm going to watch watch carefully. The town actually builds around it. It, like, redesigns the town to go around it. Even if we build these tracks around the other way, it'll do that also. I probably should have put it the other way. It, it'll be fine. Um, so there we go. We got my, a small train station right there. We can lay some track down as well. We want to go pick up some meat first. Uh, we probably go to San Francisco, uh, Sacramento first also. Let's go do that. We'll do that one first. Only makes sense. We should go to here. We're going to do a nice medium train station here. Maybe we need to go a little bigger, but for now, we'll do something like that. Right in the middle of town. Right there. And uh, let's get some track laid down. And you can see we've got two different tracks here. And the track building is quite nice. I didn't actually show up all this. We can see. We can zoom in. You can see the town is very nice. we got people walking around, having a day, just cruising around the roads. Enjoying the flowers. But let's get ourselves some track laid here. And the game's still sort of tutorially yelling at me what to do. Let's go build. And this is how we build tracks. We just click and click. And that's all there is to it. So that west track is going to meet up with this north track right here. And it's going to cost us 300 grand to do this for 77 miles of track. There is a bit of earthworks. That's them digging around. There's 143,000 uh, in tunnels we're building here. Oh my. 
This is incredibly expensive. Sounds good to me. So we now have a... It does it all for us. The bridge is there. The tunnel is now there. Oh, yeah, very nice. And we now have track to Sacramento. Sacramento to San Francisco has now been met. Let's build a train. We're going to build ourselves a Baldwin 10-wheeler. 1870, this one came out. It is has some power. It's expensive, and it goes fast. Let's buy it. We have personnel that will eventually show up. I was talking about those early on. That They will show up. Or folks will help us move the trains along. We also add on different cars. If, say, we're going to be running in a, um, a people and a, a mail car, we can throw in, like, a dining car. And we get uh, more money. We can throw in a mail car. We get more money. A uh, refrigerator from, you know, that kind of, they all have different bonuses there. Bonuses for employees. Bonuses for mail. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. What, why not? What have I got to lose? Now let's set up a rail line. Going from Sacramento on down here. The mountains actually look pretty nice. I like the look of them. Uh, on down here, San Fran. Right there. And uh, now we can select. It's, it's a little more automated. The game's much more automated than a typical tycoon, tycoon kind of game. Where you have to select like every individual car. And, and uh, when it picks it up. When it drops it off. You can go and just go into uh, automatic. I mean, you can do the manual thing if you want to do. But automatic just does it all for you. It puts pa if, there's, if there's extra passengers laying around. You can pick up the passengers. If there's freight laying around. Or you can select a, uh, a passenger and mail car only. Or a freight only. We're going to do just whatever on this one for this first train. And get the thing started. And it will begin in just a moment. Uh, but I'm going to actually do here real quick. Is I'm going to set up. Just, just get a bit of setup here. And this one's going to go like that. Uh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. You're going to go like that. And we're going to go one... Like, whoop, like, just for some uh, ease of use later on. I'll throw in one more track here, from there to there. And then we're going to throw on a supply tower, so that way it can cross all of these. There we go, so it can cross all four lines, saves us some, some headaches later on. But as the trains come in, they will stop by here, fill up. With sand and, and water and whatever else they put in there. What else they put in there? Uh, water, sand, and lubricant along their routes. Okay. And, um, yeah, there we go. So our first train should be on its way. Where is it? Where is it? It's over here. Let's go find it. So it is in Sacramento. The game is paused. The game is no longer paused. It will load up. You'll see the cars are uh, loading up. The man is being reached by meat, by meat because there's too much meat. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it in a second. And there it goes. And, of course, we can ride along with a train. We can go over our fantastic bridge, seeing, uh, what river is that? I, mean, I should probably know it, but it's some river around there. Oh, through our tunnel. Excellent, we can, we can, we can whistle. I go through the tunnel. And on our way into San Francisco, here it is, our first stop. What is on board this train? On the train, we've got three passenger cars. We've got two mail and um, an empty mail car, I believe is what that is. Pulling into the station, making us some cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meat, I know, I know, I know. you got too much meat. There we go. Eight grand just now made from that train. And away he goes. Now, there's industries in the town, which we saw a second ago, which was right here. The meat industry. As soon as the city gets to level three, it's right, two right now, a new uh, industry will come in. We could potentially buy that industry and select what we want to be put in there, and we actually make some money off of that. So we're managing, tycooning, that kind of thing as well. Uh, I do need to set up a one uh, a supply tower over here. Did you break down already? What? No, no, you paused. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I'm going to set it down. Actually, let me do this. And then I'm going to set in a supply tower right there. Okay. And away he goes. He has loads and loads of passengers on their way back to Sacramento. Because Sacramento loves people. And here he goes. When he's on his way back, he'll fill up if he needs to. But he's going to come in and drop off. Some goods. You can see the computer players up here in uh, ooh, up here in Washington and Oregon. Uh, where am I? Where am I? 
There we go. They're up here in Portland. And yeah, Eugene. This is all Oregon. Um, they got just, uh, basically the same things we, we have here. And uh, over this way, we've got Yellow Guy, Baker City to Napa. Napa? I don't even recognize Napa at all. Uh, but yeah, doing the same thing as what we're doing right now. Trains to the two towns. Now, as I mentioned before, we want towns to grow. Cambridge City, freight mail passengers will be unloaded. The rising number of rest residents, transport revenue. Passenger, okay. Um, what, what we want to be doing is we want to be supplying the demands for this town. And uh, I mentioned that before. We need to get cows here. We need to get corn here. Uh, we need to get some wood here. So we're going to do that right now. Now, down this way, we've got cows really close by. So we're going to build ourselves a tiny little station over here. Uh, actually, me, before I do this, hang on a second. Let me look at my tasks. Here's our tasks. So I mentioned before that uh, we're in, like, free play mode, but then you're going to get tasks. If you're into the scenario mode, you have to meet these goals by a certain year, which we, we have that as well. I don't know what... To improve your score, okay? Uh, if you don't reach them by the score, you lose. That's how the scenarios work. Um, but this way, it's just sort of a goal-reaching thing. So 200,000 people on a rail network will get us uh, by 1874. Which shouldn't be a problem. 1872 to get two, man, no big deal there. But you can see we kind of give us a, a, a push in certain directions if we want to uh, do that. We don't have to, I suppose. Build a rural train station. Rural train station. So we can, as you can see here, it's going to show you in just a second, that you can make, oh, see, they're too far away. But if you build a big station, you could do both of them at the same time. Go away. All right, let's build ourselves a tiny little station right here to pick us up some cows. Like that. Wood breeding. What a what a name for a farmer's place. A uh, uh, cow farm. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I want you to go into here. There's another bridge. This is going to cost us 83 grand for this. Because of the stupid bridge. Oh, man. Probably would have been a better way of doing that. It's just hilly over here, so it's all expensive. The other ones I played before, I played in Oklahoma, and it was nice and flat. And it uh, made life very easy and cheap. This one's not so much. We need another train. Uh, right here. New train. We're going to the uh, Baldwin 10 Wheeler. Now we have a stoker on here. What's he do for me if I put him on? Maximum speed of the locomotive is increased by 5%. Oh, by 20% with Lily Lewis. And you're not that much more expensive. Yeah, I'll certainly hire you. You're hired. Push that train along. I'd rather you be on the other train, actually. No, you're fine. And this is going to be hauling only cows, which I don't think cows count as food. I actually, I don't know. I mean, they kind of do. They're kind of food. All right, so we go from here to here, and automatic is fine. They're not going to carry any people back because there's no people there, and the train will be empty as it starts. But uh, there it is. There's a supply thing right there. He'll fill up if he needs it, and he will run down this way and pick up some cows. There's the cows right there saying hello. Look, they're waiting. You don't know what's coming to you. But you ain't gonna like it. Alright, well there we go. So now, next up, do we uh, Keep focus... Your friends close and your enemies closer. Really? That's all there was to that? But you just... Okay. Um, what we could do is maybe get a big station in here and grab both the corn and the, 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 the sugar from old Farmer Parker. Farmer Walker. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm a hillbilly now. Uh, let's build... Um, let's build a... Can I get with a... Not just out of reach of the normal size one. Really? Oh, come on, game. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. I'm going to pay 200 grand, which I don't have that much money. I have just barely that much money. And I can get both of these. Do I want to do that? Is it worth it? For a large station. I don't think so. It's only 40 grand for this. I mean, that's... I can't do that. So, we're going to do uh, something like... Something like this. Right there. And... Right there. If we built the other one, we wouldn't be able to afford even putting tracks in. There to there. That works. 11 grand. And then back up here, we'll meet up at spot number four here. Now, of course, we can always do, like, crossovers and signals and all that. But for now, I mean, we might as well use the big the big thing. Go into here. I think I have room to put another one there. Like that. We'll have a middle one here that we can run out to. I don't know. Is there a town over here? Uh, well, there's more fields over here we can pick up. But, uh, yeah, 80 grand. Sure. 
that's cheap. Okay, so now we get another train that's going to run from San Francisco down to there. And uh, this one here. Add locomotive. This guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, sure, you're not very good, but... Um, well, yeah, do I want you? Sure, why not? What do I care? And this is going to be hauling food. This one will be hauling food, so we want to make sure we have a refrigerator car on here because it'll give us more money because it'll be nice cold food. There's an inventor here waiting for us. Um, okay, so close that. Now set up the rail line going from San Francisco down to Wheat, uh, Walker Farm and Parker Farm. So, so, so we go there, then the farm, then the Parker, and then back. I should probably just do it like something like this. So you're going to go from Parker to Walker to San Francisco. So you'll, you'll come here, you'll fill up, you'll go there, you'll fill up even more, and... You should be good. I can. I think I can set this up manual. And I can tell you, at Parker Farm, I, I've only done this once before, and I don't remember, remember what I was doing. Uh, following applies to all train stations, larger stations, yeah, yeah, sort of a load time. Okay, so this train, uh, we do need a maintenance building actually over here. Um, over, ooh. Over here. Yeah, we need one of those, definitely. So, that'll help out some of the maintenance problems we may have, but... Um, let's see if we can get... So, he's... Where is he at? There he goes. So, when you come here... How do I tell you? There's a way of doing it, and I forgot how to do it. Where you can tell him what to put on his train at certain times... And I've forgotten how to do it. There's ways to do it, though. Um, but yeah, he's not really doing anything right now. Nook Liner has fastest train. The bold 10. Oh, there we go. 43 miles per hour. Women and children on board downhill and with a tailwind? Yeah. Couldn't, can't you, can you believe it? Um, I don't want to expand the station. I want you to be... Yeah, you're not going to make any money because you are, you know, none of working like I want you to. This one. Center on the train. I want... I don't remember how to do it. I don't need, don't need a new engine. That's fine. Um... I don't remember. So what we'll do is we're going to... I think we have to just delete this thing. Uh, to fix it. I know there's an easy way of doing this. But I'm just going to delete the thing. I'll get money back. Most of it. This guy. Um, oh, we have an engineer here. Right, right. What's he do for me? Reduces maintenance requirements by... Yeah, 20%. Sure. I'll take you. Stoker? Yeah. Um, yeah. Get in there. And refrigerator car. Okay. You go from here to there, then there. Right? Yes. Automatic, fine. Just get it going. There is ways of setting up the train cars. And you can also set it up to where... What I was trying to do... I did this before. I can't remember how I did that. Um, is you can set it up to where... You have... Like, you'll pick up four cars in Parker Farm. And then you go to eight cars at Walker Farm. And then you'll continue on to San Francisco. That way they'll sort of slowly build the train up. And there's a way of doing it. I just don't remember how to do it. Okay, and there he is. He's on his way. Hopefully he will work like he's supposed to. Um, what do you got? Nothing un unloaded at rural stations. Yeah, I gotcha. Maximum of eight cars. We got cows being hauled up to there. And by doing this, we should be supplying the needs of San Francisco. We're up to 50%. It should go up, though, as soon as that train starts arriving. Because uh, we're going to bring in, what's that, corn and sugar? So that should be very good as soon as it shows up here. Whenever it decides to show up. This is the problem. You're all sugar. Oops. Um. There it is. There it is. Okay, at Walker Farm, you're going to take... You're, you're a corn man. You're going to take four of those. At Parker Farm, same thing. Four of those. Uh, I think Max... Four here, and then 
eight here is what we want. That's what we want. Okay, finally figured it out. Excellent. So that should solve our problem. Because right now all he's carrying is sugar. And there you go. We got two trains pulling in right now. He's losing a little bit of money, but he'll, he'll get better at it when he stops off here. Sugar is being unloaded. That's 16 grand right now. Who all is here? Did it say saboteur? Jesse Earp, saboteur. Now with this guy, he's 44 grand. He's expensive, but he's very exciting. Um, because we can send him off to go steal mail, steal passengers from our competitors. We have a decapod. We can bid on this thing to try to get get it. Um, yeah. Did I get it in time? No, I didn't. I didn't click in time. So, uh, and reporters write critical newspaper articles about your competitors and reduce the passenger income by for several weeks by 50%. That's a lot of money we got to spend on this guy. This one... Bring him to one of your opponent's stations or industries and halt for several weeks through sabotage, so you can like break down the the uh, competitors' things, which is uh, which is certainly something we should be doing. Uh, the rest of this, there's an engine shed here. We can see some trains. There's the ten wheeler. There's the decapod, which we can't see just yet because we didn't pay for it. Uh, research. We have the ten wheeler. We can eventually go up to the Inyo four four zero, but we have to unlock three of these before we can do that. We have enough money. We can unlock. Precision components, precise steel processing, and better tools allow lighter, more precisely fitting components to be manufactured. Why not? There we go. Unlocked one, two more. We can unlock this one. We can get the decapod as soon as we get 200 innovation points. Uh, that's where you'd only be like Doc Brown, and he can get you more of those faster on. Uh, here's our company profile. We are worth some money. Quarterly report gives us all of our numbers that we want. Uh, our competitors. We are actually... Well, we have more money, I think, because we start with more money. I'm not sure how, how much money they start with. Um, and we can see... We have three lines, 24 rail cars, five stations. And we can also take out loans. We can actually... I think you can, like, buy out... Um, you, you can put money into certain materials. You can, you, you can put... Invest in your competitors as well, I believe, is in there somewhere. Uh, but anyway, this is... Uh, there we go. It worked. This is a, a nice quick look, I think, of Railroad Empire. Railway Empire. It will it's not available yet on Steam, but it will be in January. January twenty sixth is the day for uh, for release. But I'll put a link down there, and you can check the thing out if you like. But I want to see this. It still says fifty percent for the fulfillment of demand, but it it should be getting better. They also want beer. Can I upgrade? No, I can't upgrade you yet. Forty thousand. We're almost there. Not quite. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time. Oh, wait. Wait. Sacramento grows. There we go. This is what we want. Pause the game. Pause the game. So they have grown. They're a size 3 city now. We're actually supplying their demand. San Francisco's whining. But Sacramento likes us. We can buy ourselves an industry. We can put in a meat industry, a brewery, or a weaving factory that we want in here. Uh, we could select it. We don't have any money, so we can't actually do that. Uh, you can also put in things like uh, universities, museums, attractions to uh, uh, try to appeal the pe to the people. In our town, but we don't need money. So if we leave this, though, something else will move in here. And maybe our competitor, or maybe the private owners will come in and build whatever they want. But that is how you add on later on. So at level 5, we'll get another one. And at level 4, we'll get... Uh, level 4, we go over here. This is These are industries. This is a museum or something like that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.